Hey there, Kristen. Hey there, Jim. It is Jay here at Rorick Mazda. I have to apologize. I didn't get your daughter's name to give her a shout out as well. Um, but just giving you a quick update. So we are Rorick Mazda. If you are going to visit us on Monday, we are 2690 West Liberty Avenue, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We just renovated our store and it's pretty easily recognizable. All of the bottom is black. All of the top is white. And then in the corner, we have a double stack glass feature that you can see coming up the boulevard. But this might be a little bit more important is going over a few details and condition wise of the vehicle. Obviously photos and such are one thing online, but kind of having a walk around, I feel are a lot better for customers looking at things online. Now, kind of as we had discussed, Kristen, this is the Nismo package. So it's kind of like their sport package. That's gonna be some of like the kind of almost like a flat gray and all of the red accents. You'll notice down here in the bumper, you have your LED daytime running light stripe. Also, speaking of LEDs, your headlights are gonna be full LED also. Those are gonna be those really bright piercing blue lights for nighttime driving. That sort of sport kit kind of carries through. You'll see that little red design in the blackout mirror. You'll kind of have a little bit of that red pop through the side skirt. The two-toned uh, wheels are 18 inch are also going to be part of that. Same thing with that lip spoiler. And again, a little bit of that red and then your big chrome exhaust pipe down through there. Now, again, that Nismo is sort of their sport division, but going over a few of the features with the vehicle, one is this car does have the pre-collision safety sense. So just note that if you are kind of running up to something and the vehicle senses that you could crash, it will yell at the driver to get on the brakes. Now also kind of just going over the exterior condition, we'll go down here through the side and you'll see that there's no dents, stings, scuffs or scrapes or scratches. You'll kind of see the wheel wise. Again, I always look out for curb rash because in Pittsburgh, it seems like curbs jump out of everywhere. And then this is almost a pearl base paint. You'll kind of see where the sun hits it, how it kind of has those undertones and a little bit of that sparkle right through there. Same thing with the back bumper, just verifying condition and going down the right side. Again, no dents, stings, scuffs, scrapes, scratches. Same thing with the wheels on the passenger side as well. Typically with kind of more special edition packages like this, customers tend to take care of these a little bit better than they would say just a more base Sentra. Now this button here is just gonna be for advanced key. Uh, there's a button, or excuse me, as long as you have the key fob with you, it'll sense that you have it and you can just use that to lock or unlock the car. Now opening up the interior, you'll see that you still have some of those Nismo plaques. You'll have a kind of a carbon fiber like looking sport trim. You'll have your bucket seats with the Niso embroidery. And then though a little difficult to see, you kind of may see that some of the bolsters up throughout the seats kind of reflect that sort of red with some of the stitching that goes through. Same thing a little bit around your gear shifter. Buttons for your heated seats, obviously climate system, you'll see navigation is up. And then you even have a little bit of kind of like an Alcantara feel to the steering wheel, that's pretty cool. And then just kind of zooming out so you can get a little bit better look at the dash here. Now, if I hop in here, just to verify the mileage, there is 30,936 miles. There's my dyslexia kicking in. Obviously, you'll have things like auto headlights kind of going down here, a couple different modes, eco to eke out a little bit more gas, sport if you really wanna be that Pittsburgh driver, obviously just controls for your power mirrors and so forth. Now, obviously up here will be your touchscreen. Navigation is up, but you'll have everything from XM radio. Uh, you do have Bluetooth in the vehicle for streaming. Of course, if I shift into reverse, you are going to see that you have your standard backup camera as well. And then an update to the sound system. You'll see some little tweeters up there that they mount in the pillars just for some additional sound here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this off because again, it is push button. And you'll see here is the key fob here just pretty standard. Again, you're just going to want to keep this with you. There is two keys with the vehicle as well. Taking a quick peek at the back seats. You'll see some of that red stitching kind of carries through the back seats. And I'm just going to get a little view of from the passenger side. But I hope this video kind of helps go over the vehicle a little bit more in depth and answer a few questions as well as even kind of go over a few features that you may or may not be aware of that it had. 
But I do appreciate the opportunity and hope this video does help. Thank you guys again and enjoy your weekend as well.